MLB The Show tips back for another amazing baseball season. I brought a few of my friends to help start the show. Hey guys, uh, this is Carl Word 5. Hey everyone, it's Carl Dude here. This is Two Brothers Gaming. Hey, this is Paul Spore from Fangraphs and Rotowire. I'm C Saint Gaming. I'm Moonlight Swami. Hey guys, it's CJ Outside Slider. What's going on, everybody? This is Method Man. All right, so for our first top five hitters, let's hear from Moonlight Swami. Number five, Michael Brantley. Left-handed outfielder, can hit, can run, can field, doesn't strike out a lot, has a good eye. Next up, Buster Posey at four. Doesn't strike out a ton, best hitting catcher in the league. Can hit for power, hit for contact, great fielder. Pretty much a given. Number three, Joey Votto. Left-handed hitter, hits for power, great eye at the plate, one of the best hitters, really good fielder, easy choice. Number two, Paul Goldschmidt. Probably the best fielder outside of Mark Teixeira in baseball at first base. Can do everything. Can steal, not very fast, but he can extend those plays better than guys like Miguel Cabrera in terms of getting a double into a triple, single into a double, that sort of thing. And number one is, of course, Bryce Harper. Ungodly numbers this season. Just absolutely out of this world. Left-handed hitter, power hitter, has an eye, discipline, vision, all of it. Great player, maybe the best player in baseball. Hey, Saint Gaming, you got a top five hitters for this year? Buster Posey, best catcher in the game, and he's easy to bat 300 with. Gotta go out to Vegas and bat anywhere from one to three, has amazing contact and speed. Miguel Cabrera, you can play first or third base, he's a great cleanup hitter, lots of power. Bryce Harper, he's a lefty and elite filled with righties, he's easy to hit with, lots of home runs. Mike Trout, a good combination of speed, contact, and power, he can bat anywhere from one to three. Hey Carl, dude, let's hear your top five. At number five, I have Miguel Cabrera because he's the best pure hitter in the game. At number four, I have Manny Machado because of his great defense at third base and his ability to hit the lefties and right-handed pitchers. At number three, I have Andrew McCutcheon because he's a five-tool player and you can feel confident putting him up against just about any pitcher. At number two, I have Mike Trout because he's the most complete player in the game and he can patrol center field with ease. At number one, I have Bryce Harper because in Diamond Dynasty, you'll be facing right-handed pitchers mainly, and his contact and power versus righties is unmatched. Cardinal Bird 5, who are your top five hitters? Uh, Joey Votto, I just threw him in there. Another good left-handed hitter. Um, even though he is a red, again, I really like his approach, his patient approach. Uh, next player is kind of a hometown favorite, a little biased here, Matt Carpenter. Again, I love his approach. I take his approach and I use it online when I play as well. I just like his patience and he also hit 30 bombs last year. So I'm really curious to see how they'll rate him. Uh, next I have Carlos Gonzalez. I always hit really well with him. He was my loyalty player last year. I used him a lot in Diamond Dynasty. Again, bats from the left side and has good defense. So yep, I like Cargo. Next hitter is going to be Harper. I think Harper is going to be like the best hitter for me to use personally. He's a left-handed hitter. He's going to have good power and contact on both sides of the plate. Uh, number one position player for me to use in MLB 16 is going to be Mike Trout, just because he's Mike Trout. Our friends over at Operation Sports said in a list too, this comes from Kaylee Rorick. At number five, he's got Joey Votto, says, not sure you can call him underrated, but he had a very quiet season last year with great numbers, average power and walks. At number four, as a Phillies fan, Kaylee says, it's hard to include him on this list, but an MVP season saw the culmination of great potential finally come together. At number three, Mike Trout. Even if defense is a factor on this list, you got to include Mike Trout. And if he hits number three in the order for the Angels, look for more RBIs this season. At number two, Josh Donaldson. An easy choice. Look at the crazy power he put up last season. At number one, Operation Sports puts Paul Goldschmidt. Kelly says he loves someone who can have a rare combination of power, average, and OPS with the ability to steal a few bags. So at number one for Operation Sports, Paul Goldschmidt. Let's go over to Fangraphs and Rotowire expert Paul Sporer. My number five hitter is Giancarlo Stanton from the Miami Marlins. His power is just so transcendent. At number four is do everything first baseman Paul Goldschmidt for the Arizona Diamondbacks. This guy has every facet to his game. Hits for average, hits for power. At number three, I've got cover boy Josh Donaldson for the Toronto Blue Jays playing third base. I think everyone's top three might contain the same guys, just in a different order. Uh, I, can, I can hear a case for Donaldson at two or one, but I think he'll come in at number three. He's got the power. He hit for average last year. The defense is always impeccable at third base. 
At number two, I have Mike Trout, center fielder for the Los Angeles Angels. And I had to bump him off the, the number one spot because I just think that uh, the, the guy who I've got at one, who I'm sure you can guess, just has a little bit more of the complete game, especially with Trout's speed kind of coming down these last couple years. So at number one, I of course have reigning NL MVP Bryce Harper for the Washington Nationals. Just an absurd season hitting wise. Did everything, almost had a one to one strikeout to walk ratio, which is obscene. Two Bros Gaming, let's hear your top five hitters for MLB The Show 16. I have Buster Posey as a definite one. He had one of the best all around seasons by a catcher in league history. The next guy is, of course, the MVP, Bryce Harper. I can't say that I'm a huge fan of this guy's attitude, but you can't deny his game. He definitely stepped it up last year, and he'll be rated tremendously. Andrew McCutcheon is an all-around player. Almost five tools, if not five tools, depending on how you want to look at it. And, of course, behind the plate, I've seen him launch game-tying, game-winning, RBIs, Home runs, all kinds of stuff, man. Paul Goldschmidt has come into his own as a member of the Arizona Diamondbacks and a very traditional first base power hitter. And he can also put that ball on a rope and get those easy singles, those RBIs. He knows where to go with the ball. Mike Trout, he is going to be doing big work for those Angels. And with the exception of fielding, which he needs some work on taking routes to balls, um, I see him as a five-tool player as well. Starting at number five, CJ, outside slider. Let's hear him. Coming in at number five, it's got to be Bryce Harper for me. The only reason I stopped using him last year was because I faced him so often I grew sick of seeing his name in the lineup on my screen. Number four, John Carlos Stanton. Looking forward to Johnny clearing some bases for me all year. I'll probably slot him in the cleanup spot on my early roster. Number three, Josh Donaldson, J.D., Obviously, he can do it all. I'm looking to the bringer of rain to bring me some dubs this year, but hoping he takes it easy on the Red Sox in real life. Coming in at a solid number two for me is Paul Goldschmidt. I love Paul Goldschmidt. In my opinion, he's the best first baseman in the league right now. Number one for me, though, got to be Mike Trout, baby. How can it be any other? He's come through in the clutch for me way too many times in the past. Kind of like uh, he already has in his short career for the Angels, I guess. He plays the game properly, plays it the right way, and I'm hoping he'll bring that mojo to my Diamond Dynasty squad this year. Math and Man TV, do you got some crazy top fives? My number five ranked hitter, Joey Votto. Some might be surprised by this, but last year he killed it for me time and time again. Votto-matic. Number four comes in at Andrew McCutcheon. Big fan of his, and he did very well for me all the time last year. He's an excellent fielder, got good speed and everything. He's a well-rounded player. Number three for me comes in as Bryce Harper. He's excellent, absolutely dominant. He's got good speed for an outfielder. Number two is ranked as Josh Donaldson. I did not use him much until the end of the season last year, and that's when he was going off just crushing the ball. And not only was he great against lefties, but he was very good for me against righties as well. Number one hitter, I think it's pretty obvious, Mike Trout. He's absolutely phenomenal. He's a complete package. 99s everywhere. I mean, it's going to be a 99 card once again. And he hits for power, hits for average. Great fielder, great speed. I mean, what can you what can you not say about him? For MLB The Show Tips, at number five, Josh Donaldson, best power hitting third baseman arguably in the game right now. At number four, I got Paul Goldschmidt. You combine that average with power and some speed at first base, he's the complete deal. At number three, speaking of complete deals, Mike Trout, generational kind of player and he's going to be a 99 overall to start the game without a doubt but he's only my third best player and i'll tell you why at number two i've got bryce harper a lefty that's the big difference between him and trout for me i want that lefty power hitting outfielder he's my number two player and at number one you may be asking who's left i'll tell you who's left the greatest power hitter in baseball right now my boy, Giancarlo Stanton at number one. Hope you guys enjoyed watching the top five hitters. We do have another video coming up. The top five pitchers from all my friends. Follow everyone on Twitter. Check them out on YouTube and Twitch. And we'll be back with more all season long here. MLB The Show Tips.